My name is Emmanuel Jacob Winter. Uh, I'm a bricklayer for the Bricklayers Union. I'm located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, I work primarily all over the United States. As a bricklayer, you know, we, we, we I mean, obviously we lay brick. I mean, it's in the title, but uh, there's a lot more to it than just laying brick. I, I'm, a, I'm a refractory bricklayer. So I work with uh, industry, and uh, meaning I work for the mines and uh, power plants, refineries, stuff like that. You know, uh, uh, anything anything hot, we uh, we line with bricks to cool it off. Well, uh, work work generally starts at seven in the morning, uh, depending on where you're working and what you're doing. Because, uh, like I said, there's 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 different things to do uh, to being a bricklayer. Being a bricklayer is it's basically being a mason. So uh, sometimes, you know, we lay block and red brick, which would be houses and, 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 and buildings. Uh, sometimes I do refractory where we're, we're lining vessels with, with refractory materials. And sometimes we lay stone. Uh, I've done a lot of work in Yellowstone uh, or, or whitefish in different places like that. So depending, usually work starts at 7 in the morning and uh, usually you're hard at it till at least 3.30 or maybe even 7 at night. But uh, I got started doing this, and, and you'll find that uh, a lot of people do. Uh, I had family who do this. My father's a bricklayer, and my brother's a bricklayer. So it uh, wasn't necessarily my prime choice uh, as a career. I, I went to the university for a couple of years, and the uh, scholarship didn't pan out. And so I had to, get a, had to get a job, you know, had to get, had to, get, get to work. And uh, fortunately, I had that avenue with my family where I could get involved in something like this. You know, uh, uh, joining the union was wasn't wasn't too bad. You had to get a couple guys to sponsor you and make sure that you were you were serious about the job. And then once they did, they'd send you off to school. And uh, we did uh, I did a pre-job school for three months out in Houston. Now they do it in Maryland. Uh, but after that, you come back and then, you know, there's a couple of union companies in town that, you know, put you to work, you know, if, as long as they have work. I've been uh, uh, laying bricks since, I guess, since 95. And I'll probably be laying brick for another, at least another 15 years. I mean, just the way retirement age is is, is out out the roof right now, so... Yes, you get you get a certification. It really is. I mean, it's a certi certification of completion. It's not really like a, now you're a bricklayer. You still have to do your apprenticeship, which was another four years. You know, so it was. So, yeah, it it it, it takes a while before you know you're considered a full French bricklayer. My high school was a, a normal high school experience, I would imagine. You know, uh, uh, like I said, I did go to college for a little bit. Uh, uh, if if there's anything that you know, if you wanted to be a bricklayer, it's hard work, so it, you know you can't take that away from it. But you would have to. I would say you. I would say pay attention in math. You know, your simple math, fractions, decimals, stuff like that. You know, some, some things that you really don't think you might use, you end up using. You know, just simple math. You know, simple math. Uh, you know, I was into I was into sports and and, and other things. You know, I don't know. Uh, not, not you know, just normal kid stuff, I guess. You know, uh, if you if you're good at what you do and you don't mind traveling, uh, you can get a job. You know, there's always work for a traveling bricklayer. If you want to stay in town, you're limited to a few companies, just like anything else. You know, so but if you're willing to travel, there's always work. And if you if you do travel, you'll make quite a bit more money than you do if you stay home. You know.